Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Barrett again. Today I'm going to teach you a fun, fun dance called Los Machetes. Los Machetes is a great, great song that we do in music class and the boys always especially get very excited about this because very quickly they make the translation from Spanish into English that Los Machetes sounds a whole lot like the machetes in English. So. Now the truth is out. In the classroom, I always tell you, oh, the principal is so mean. They won't let us do this dance with machetes at school. They say it's unsafe. Well, truth is out. It's usually, it's my decision. <laughs> Here I am teaching you at home. And what are we gonna use? Sticks. Please do not do this dance with any sort of sharp implement at home. Absolutely, get a stick. I got mine from the woods. You could also use a wooden spoon from your mother's kitchen if you have a if you have permission. Your family's kitchen, I should say. Anyway, for teachers, you can find this curriculum on Santa Longdon's series. Um, she numbers her DVDs and her CDs, and that kind of gets a little confusing for me, but she also is kind enough to color code them. So this is the green DVD and the green and brown CD. And this is just a wonderful resource we use all the time in our curriculum. All right, before we get started, I do want to show you where Yalisco is. Did I tell you this is a dance from Yalisco, Mexico? So I want to show you where we are, and then I want to show you where Yalisco is. So we are in the state of Indiana. It's this green state right here on the North American continent in the country of the United States. So Mexico, you need to go south and west. You need to go through Texas, which is right here in yellow, and when you get to this orange area, this is the country of Mexico. Now, Yalisco is about halfway down on the side that has the Pacific Ocean, so over here. It's near Guadalajara and Puerto Vallarta. We happen to have a restaurant here in our hometown called Puerto Vallarta, so you might be able to make some connections there with that word. Yalisco is a very interesting place. I learned that they are, this is the place where mariachi music was developed and born and it comes from. And we're listening to mariachi music right now at the beginning of this, this recording. Mariachi music is wonderful. You hear it in lots of places. I hear it at some restaurants when I go. Um, I per particularly love the brass instruments in mariachi music. The trumpets, um, the trumpets just sound wonderful. All right, so I need you to get two sticks or two wooden spoons. And I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna teach you the dance moves for Los Machetes. There's three sections to this dance. The first section is very easy. You're going to hear the beat of the music and you are going to click your sticks together like this to the beat of the music while you walk in a circle. Halfway through, you're gonna turn around and walk the other way. Okay, let me show you. Five, six, seven, eight. Da, 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 da. helpers today helping me to stay on screen so we're just gonna have to do this video warts and all part B is the fun the funnest part for me it is I'm gonna teach it without the sticks first it's a clapping section where you're gonna lift one leg and go under over under over back front one two three so let's try that really slow. And instead of saying over, I'm just gonna say clap. But um, it's under, clap, under, clap, back, front, one, two, three. Under, clap, under, clap, back, front, one, two, three. Let's try that one more time, ready? 
a little bit faster. If it's too fast, just rewind and do it slowly again until you can and progress to the next part. Under clap, under clap, back, front, one, two, three. Under clap, under clap, back, front, one, two, three. Good, that's half of part B. The second half of part B would repeat that again. So you'd do it a total of four times. Let's try it once with the sticks. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Under clap, under clap, back, front, one, two, three. Under clap, under clap, back, front, one, two, three. Good job. All right, if you're doing this with a sibling or a parent, make sure to have some good space between you and them. As you do that back, front, it's easy to knock each other with the sticks. Part C, the third part. Moving to the right, you circle one stick overhead like a lasso and step together, step together, step together, step touch. Step together, step together, step together, step touch. Switch directions and go back the other way. Step together, step together, step together, step touch. Good. This time on that touch, click your sticks together. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step together, step together, step touch. 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 And then we go back to part A. It's just as easy as that. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And um, I see our dog Max walking around in the background. And if he tries to get my sticks while I'm doing this dance, we're just going to uh, let the camera keep rolling and hope that, uh, that you're doing it right while I retrieve my sticks from my dog. All right, I'm gonna turn up the volume here on our CD player and we'll get started. Yeah. 
some things I did wrong because I wasn't concentrating is you should always go the same direction every single time first. One of those verses, I went the wrong way the first time. Is that a big deal? Absolutely not. I'm all by myself. It didn't hurt a thing. If you were with a large group though, that might be a problem. So it's always important when you're doing a dance to always think about what comes next while you're doing something so that you're prepared for it and you're on time. All right, well, I certainly hope that you enjoy this song and this dance and I send you my best and I am looking forward to the time where we can do these dances together again.